So we're here at, in Wynwood today at Smorgasburg and I'm here with uh, the man behind behind the whole uh, Smorgasburg, Gaston. Gaston, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you All for right. coming. Yeah. You great. said it right, Smorgasburg. A lot of people mess it up. But you oh, got really? It. Yeah, you got okay. it. Well, uh, yeah, thanks for inviting us today here at the preview of uh, Smorgasburg. So we've been uh, uh, checking it around. So we uh, tasted some of the foods and yeah, it was really uh, different. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about uh, the vendors that are uh, here today? Yeah, so the vendors, um, the ones you're seeing at Smorgasburg are like the best of the best in Miami. Uh, really doing interesting things with food and concepts, mixing different cultures and cuisines. You have a Cuban person doing Japanese inspired food and just tasting an amazing array of different diverse food that you can find here. A little bit of everything. Nice. And uh, yeah, I read somewhere that you are a Miami native. Yes. Oh, wow. So, but you started in New York. I, I was born in Mexico. I moved here when I was very young. Okay. Then I moved, I was in New York for a little bit. Okay. I was part of this Morgansburg in New York oh, as okay. a vendor. And uh, then I came back to Miami, started the pandemic. Okay. And then we're here now. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, what made you decide to uh, come to uh, Miami to open up Smorgasburg? Well, it was a little forced. When I was in New York, I had two restaurants that I had to close because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I moved back here. It was nicer to be here at the beginning of the pandemic than New York. Right. And then I realized I wanted to stay. And uh, I decided to open up, up Smorgasburg when I realized how great of talent there was for vendors. Yeah. And there really are amazing vendors right now in Miami. So right. that's why we're here. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about the vendors? What kind of difference? Oh man. Food? Yeah, a little bit of everything. So you have anything from yakitori, Japanese food, um, lamb skewers from a very specific area of, of Italy, from De Abruzzo. You have amazing ice cream concepts. Dessert. It really like it's like Disneyland for for food. Right, right. And when are you guys opening up? Opening March twelfth at eleven a.m. Oh wow! Okay, well, everybody, uh, definitely check it out. Uh, yeah, it's a great concept, Smorgasburg, the gr the biggest food ma market in uh, the U.S. There you go. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you so much.
water brings up the pH in the northeast city of the coffee, and the physical that are a little bit of fatty, it makes it a little bit fattier, so that um, you put our butter out. We love having it with the oat milk, and we love having the broth. It's like an experience to us, because it's not just like pouring milk in it. Just as the coffee special, we want to make the milk special. Okay. So we'll get a minute, and you should be ready. Oh, we have, we have this. <laughs> 